This is my homemade solar hot water system, worth a few tens of dollars. Unlike these traditional solar collectors, my system does not require a hot water tank, pump and other equipment. This is because 100 liters of hot water are located here, under several layers of glass and transparent plastic sheets, inside this box of thermal insulation with a thickness of 16 cm. That is why the hot water almost does not lose its heat at night, and I can close it with this cover, which helps to better keep the temperature of the water during the night or a few cloudy days. However, I rarely used this opportunity, and usually the cover has this position both day and night, and here we see a mirror on the inner surface of the cover. Now we must pay attention to the edges of the spot of solar radiation from the mirror at different points in time for one day, and it is obvious that the spot moves due to the movement of the sun from morning to evening. We understand that the additional radiation from the mirror significantly increases the water heating temperature and heat production. For example, now we see that the sun heated those 100 liters of water to a temperature of more than 70 degrees Celsius. Now I am showing the idea of a solar heater without that cover, and the mirror is this cheap reflective film, which can be fixed on a fence or on the south wall of a house. Obviously, a similar effect will be under such walls or fences which are lined with sheets of mirror stainless steel, or under such mirror windows. Large mirror surfaces of similar versions of solar heaters can significantly increase their efficiency compared to this version of the heater, where this part from the mirrors does not always cover this surface of the heater. I remind you that every month I tested a new homemade solar hot water system, and this system supplied hot water to my summer cottage in October, and it was described by one of my old videos. Another of my old videos describes this solar hot water system, which was tested by me in August. This is one of my future systems, and I tested it in November, but the winter interrupted my experiments, which will continue in the spring. So, the topic of this video will be this homemade system, which gave hot water to my summer cottage in September. My main goal was to research this type of solar heaters, when this black surface absorbs radiation from the sun and from the mirror. The heat of the black surface is transferred to this large mass of water, which is covered by this transparent surface. In other words, I wanted to know about the water heating temperatures and rate of decrease in the water temperature due to heat leakages through this thick thermal insulation and these transparent sheets, and this will be shown in the last minutes of this video. So, I used cheap polymer films instead of these black and transparent surfaces, and this is the black film which will absorb radiation from the sun and the mirror. Here we see the transparent film, which is needed in order to stop the evaporation of the water, but it is obvious that we can replace both films with black and transparent sheets of other materials. This 40 meters of metal plastic pipe will be surrounded by those 100 liters of water, and this greenhouse is connected to the cold water pipe of my summer cottage. Those 100 liters heat the cold water when it goes through this pipe, and then hot water moves through this hose to this water basin mixer and to this shower. I explained all this in more detail in one of my old videos, including the collaboration capabilities of my solar hot water system with a tank electric water heater or similar tankless electric heaters. I remind you that every month I test a new hot water system, and therefore my system is connected to the house through these temporary houses, not permanent reliable pipes. Now I open the hot water tap, and we see the water which leaves the pipe through this outlet, and let's look at the temperature of the water from the pipe outlet when those 100 liters of water had this temperature. After that, cold water began to move through this green hose from the cold water pipe. And now we see how the water leaves the pipe outlet. And this sensor shows the temperature of the water. I remind you that this pipe has a length of 40 meters and an inner diameter of 12 millimeters. We can calculate that the pipe contained 4 liters of water, which were located there for several hours, and therefore those 4 liters got the temperature of the water inside my solar heater. But now those 4 liters of water have already left the pipe outlet, and we see that the temperature of the hot water begins to decrease rapidly. This was the cold water, which came into the pipe through that greenhouse about 2 minutes ago, and it had a temperature of 13 degrees Celsius.
But then the cold water is heated when it went through the pipe, because it took heat from those 100 liters of water. Now we see that the water temperature has become almost constant, but the temperature still continues to decrease slowly, because the heating of that cold water takes heat from those 100 liters of water. This is a situation when my solar heater has already given 15 liters of water with a temperature between 70 and 54 degrees Celsius. If this 15 liters mix with cold water, you get almost 30 liters of water mixture with a temperature of 40 degrees. After this experiment, the temperature of those 100 liters of water decreased to this level, and it is about 6 degrees lower than it was before the experiment. Let's look at the work of my solar heater when it was covered with this chip sheet of cellular polycarbonate and these two glass sheets. In addition, I will not close this cover and it will have such position day and night. So, now there is morning and I am showing the temperatures of those 100 liters of water. But then there was such a sunny day and therefore the sun heated the water to these temperatures. This sensor shows the temperature of the upper layer of the water, and this sensor shows the temperature of the water near the bottom. I remind you that I did not close this cover at night, and this is the temperature of those 100 liters the next morning. Now I will show the evening and morning temperatures for the next days, when I did not close the cover and I did not take heat from the solar heater for the shower and other purposes. I remind you that the thickness of the thermal insulation of the bottom and walls is 16 cm, and it is obvious that the morning and evening water temperatures will be different if we change the thickness or if we change the number of those sheets of glass and cellular polycarbonate. The height of the water inside the heater is 15 cm, and we understand that a decrease in the height will increase the evening temperature of the water, but slightly reduce its morning temperature. So, we can conclude that we will have high temperature of the water both in the evening and in the morning during sunny periods. Unfortunately, non-solar periods can reduce the water temperature lower than 30 or 40 degrees Celsius, and therefore I remind you of the possibilities for the solar heater to work together with a tank electric water heater or similar tankless electric heaters. Let's look how this cover will help us during non-sunny periods, and now we see the water temperature in the evening after sunny day. Then I closed the cover and the water temperature decreased to this level during the night. But after that it was cloudy days and therefore I did not open the cover. This is the temperature the next day and we can calculate that now the water temperature is 10 degrees lower than it was 26 hours ago. Then another day passed under the cover, and we see that the water temperature has lost another 6 degrees in the last 22 hours. I live at 50 degrees north latitude in Ukraine, where the height of the sun above the horizon is 45 degrees at noon in the first half of September. But it is obvious that the height of the sun will change for other months, and now I am showing the optimal vertical angle of the mirror for March and June. Here we see how I can change the vertical angle of the mirror, but this change increases the efficiency slightly. Thus, the solar heater may reject the possibility of changing the angle, and it will work well with the constant angle of the mirror all months. This constant angle will be different for different geographical latitudes, and for example, this is the optimal angle for the equator, this is for the subtropics, and this is the optimal angle for 50 degrees north latitude. But we understand that the angle of such large reflective surfaces can be of any value. I also want to clarify that my heater was filled with rain water, because ordinary water can be a source of salt on the surface of the black and transparent films, and the salt will decrease the efficiency of our heater. In addition, I draw your attention to the requirement that the surface of the pipe should be black, because it must absorb solar radiation well. So, I remind you that my main goal was to study the energy capabilities of this type of solar heaters, and therefore this video does not describe the features of this real design. For example, these air bubbles decrease the efficiency of the solar heater, but the decrease in the efficiency is small, and we see that the bubbles are easily removed.